matter what is matter anything that has mass and s occupy a space is called matter matter is classified into three types one is solid second is liquid third one is gas our chapter is gaseous state our chapter is gaseous state now first let's see the characteristic of gases okay they do not have fixed shape and volume why because they can expand indefinitely they can expand indefinitely they are highly compressible as in lpg gas measurable properties of gas okay for gas which is properties we can measure okay first let's say this is our container okay inside this container gas sample is filled okay inside this container a gas sample is filled for this gas sample we can measure volume we can measure pressure we can measure temperature and we can finally can measure number of moles okay first let's see how to measure volume of gas volume of gas sample okay volume of gas equal to the volume of the container we know gas do not have constant volume so gas occupy the volume in which it is kept means it occupy the volume of the container here is our important relation here is our what important relation one liter equal to 1000 ml ml means milliliter equal to 1000 cc one ml means one ml means one cc cubic centimeter yes amount of volume is meter cube see this meter cube is very large so this is not commonly used it is very clear likewise we can also measure temperature we can also what we can also measure temperature Yes, amount of temperature is Kelvin. While solving numerical, we have to use unit in Kelvin. Here is our important relation. From this relation, we can convert degree Celsius into Kelvin scale, and we can solve numerical. Number three, we can measure number of moles. Number of moles refers to the amount of gas. Okay. Here is our formula. From this formula, we can find the number of moles. N equal to number of moles is divided by n. N equal to mass of given ma gas, mass of given gas represented by a small m upon molecular mass of gas represented by the capital M. Our last measurable property is pressure. Okay, atmospheric pressure measured by mercury barometer. This figure is what mercury barometer, barometer, mercury barometer. Okay, this barometer is filled with mercury. Okay, here is a long tube. Here is a long tube. This long, uh, long tube is filled with mercury and above mercury it is vacuum. Okay, why it is vacuum to uh, avoid unnecessary pressure. Okay, in atmosphere we have gas molecules, gas molecules have mass. Okay, now what happens? This gas molecules press, press, or you can say exert the pressure on the surface of the mercury column. Now, what happens when this gas press the surface of the mercury column? This uh, gas and uh, this mercury rises due to pressure difference this uh, mercury rises in the uh, column this mercury rises in the tube okay when the atmospheric pressure is high the height of mercury is more when the atmospheric pressure is less height of mercury is less okay now when we conduct experiment at sea level okay then we get the height of height of mercury to 760 mm of Hg which give which is equivalent to one atm pressure we know if uh, when the liquid is at a certain height we can find the pressure by formula p equal to h dg height of height of certain liquid and is a density and is a gravity by this way we can find the pressure okay now this is our 760 mm equal to one atm this is our atmospheric pressure okay pressure of gas measured by mercury nanometer okay this is our youtube shape mercury nanometer here is a vacuum okay here is a vacuum this is our this is our this is our gas container when when this gas container is connected connected to this youtube nanometer then what happens gas molecule pass on this tube and exert pressure on the surface of this mercury then what happens the mercury column mercury height rises in this longer part of tube okay now we can from this we can say this height it is same at same level there is same pressure and here is height here is height difference from this height difference we can measure pressure pressure of gas 
this height difference gives the what this height difference gives the pressure of gas si root of pressure is si root of pressure is what pascal it is generated by pa it is generated by pa or we can also say newton per meter square why how newton per meter square so we know pressure equal to force per unit area force si root of force is newton si root of area is meter square when when meter square go up we have to write negative sign here okay 180 m equal to yes equivalent to height of 760 mm of fg and this mm of fg is also we can say also we can say this one tar one mm of fg is one tar okay 180 m equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power pascal this is the value of 180 m in pascal okay in si unit 